Now for the next parts, let's see, getting that to be a medium heat and simmering it so things uh, mix together. Now I'm going to put in a little water and a little cornstarch into a small bowl. I reach down in here. This looks pretty good. How much water, how much cornstarch am I going to put into this little bowl? I think that I will put what it's telling me to put. I mean, the recipe is calling for a certain amount. The recipe is calling for, it looks like, three tablespoons of water and th uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of cornstarch. So I'll listen to the recipe. Here comes first tablespoon of water. It's nice to have a double-sided tablespoon. One, two, and three. Three tablespoons of water. And now we're gonna get, uh, let's see, three quarters of a teaspoon, which I can make by getting one half of a teaspoon and one quarter of a teaspoon or I can do one, two, three quarters of a teaspoon. Three quarters of a teaspoon, sounds like a good idea. One, two, three, and I'm going to mix this together. The cornstarch does, I guess with the water, is it kind of makes everything a little thicker. I'm gonna add that into the sauce here. The sauce is trying to melt. There we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, let's see. Let's mix that together. Now I'm going to pour this into... I'm going to give us some more time to dissolve. You can see the steam coming up off the saucepan. So I'll set this aside here. And now I will also, I've already got my chicken, I've got my pizza dough ready and made, okay? Now I'm going to start cutting some vegetables. I've got, uh, looks like carrots, shallots, and peanuts. A shallot <clears throat> is a kind of onion. It's just a little strange looking onion. I don't like onions that much personally. But when it's just a little shallot, it doesn't bother me that much. So the shallot, I need three cloves of the shallot. So I'm going to rinse off this first part, kind of peel the skin off. I'm going to sink here. Can't see what I'm doing. Cut that. Then I'm going to take a knife from here, and I'm going to cut. Do it on a cutting board. Cut the ends off the shallot here. Okay, it looks like I've got three cloves right in there, right? One, two, three. And so I'm chopping up my shallots here, my three cloves. Get rid of the skin parts. And uh, just continue to chop, up. chop it up. Now I can hear that there's some sizzling action going on the stove behind me. You can hear a little sizzling action. That probably means that the sugar has dissolved into the vinegar and water. I'm gonna pour the cornstarch and the water into the, oops, I gotta get some more of this cornstarch, into the sauce. Get in there. Sticking it up. Thicker and uh, we'll give it maybe one more minute just to uh, sizzle around in there with that sauce. So one minute. I'm keeping track of the time. We've been recording for 17 minutes. When that gets to 18, I'll turn off the stove. In the meantime, I'm going to start. Uh, what am I going to start doing? I think I'm going to. Uh, shallots are all chopped up. I think I'll start. Uh, Cutting up the cucumber. So I'm going to cut up the cucumber over here. I'm going to take the ends off the cucumbers. I have two cucumbers. I'm 
think that may be too many cucumbers. I think I just need one cucumber. I'm just gonna do one cucumber. Nine ounces of cucumbers. That's about half a pound. Feels right. So I'm gonna chop up this cucumber. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna cut this down here. And we are at 18 minutes of recording. That means that the sauce has been sizzling for one minute. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Oh yeah, that looks pretty thick now. I need to stir in some lime juice. So to do that, I'm gonna take my lime. I'm going to cut the lime. I'm gonna quarter the lime. And when I say quarter the lime, it means that I'm gonna cut it into four, count them, one, two, three, four wedges of limes. And then I'm going to squeeze them first into my hand. That way the seeds don't get in the sauce. Two. That goes in there. And uh, three goes in here. And four. So I can smell that citrus from the lime. It's got a uh, acidic smell, an acidic aroma. I'm going to wash my hands again because it's always a good idea to wash 